Sir, how are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Good to be in Dallas. And uh, how is uh, Dallas climate and uh, hospitality? Wonderful. I love the sunshine and the people have been very warm as well. So, you are here to discuss about a book. So, could you just tell me about uh, the book, what, what it is? No, my last couple of books which have come out this year in the US. One is called Inglorious Empire, which is about British colonialism in India and the damage wrought by the British in the course of their 200 years of imperial rule. Mm -hmm. And the other is a book called Why I'm a Hindu, which is about the Hindu religion and unfortunately the distortions of it by those who've come up with um, um, a different view of the faith, unfortunately promoting bigotry and intolerance in my country. So if I'm not wrong, is it correct from my end to say that the, the narratives that you're writing, you're trying to reconst uh, reconstruct the path uh, for the, 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 the Congress has lost during the last period of uh, last period? No, my books go well beyond my politics. I am a writer. These have now published 17 books, so it's not as if I'm um, only promoting a Congress party agenda. These are my personal views and my ideas. In, the, in the, the book about British colonialism is certainly entirely my point of view. As far as the, um, the Hindu book is concerned, there is certainly a perception that um, the Congress has to fight the forces of intolerance in India um, also within the Hindu fold and that it's not enough to just face the, the, um, the message of Hindutva, the so-called um, uh, political ideology of the, of the ruling party, uh, with a purely secular response, that secularism um, must take into account the religious beliefs of the majority, and at the same time to say that our Hinduism has been an inclusive Hinduism. So, and what is the difference between Hinduism and Hindutva, according to you, sir? Hinduism is a religion, it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual philosophy, it is a, uh, an inclusive uh, religious culture, very different from Hindutva, which is a political ideology based on false notions of race pride, of ethnicity, uh, of, of a Hindu race uh, needing to rise and assert itself against people of other faiths. I think it's a, it's a very narrow-minded view of what India should be all about. And how do you think is BJP portraying, uh, portraying this Hinduism to the public? Well, I think that the BJP, unfortunately, is the vehicle for this kind of intolerance. And under the BJP, the kind of intolerance that has flourished is not, I believe, uh, in the interest of preserving the kind of unified, uh, multi-religious, multi-ethnic, multilinguistic uh, nation that India has always been. Okay, sir. Uh, and uh, what I mean, like, and why do you think BJP is pretending to be a Hindu party and is not? No, no, it is a, it is, it is a, a, a political vehicle. Uh, Hinduism is a tool for them. It's not even real Hinduism. As I say, Hindutva is a distortion of Hinduism. It misses out on many of the fundamental principles and tenets of the Hindu faith. It instead, unfortunately, articulates uh, a group identity kind of Hinduism, which is not what Hinduism is about. So you support that it's a Hinduism, it's a party which supports Hinduism? Uh, no, it's a, it's a party that has betrayed Hinduism, uh -huh. unfortunately, by uh, projecting it in this inappropriate way. Okay. And uh, so the, the, the Hindutva ideology has reduced the great majesty, the soaring ideas and philosophies and, and values of the inclusive Hindu faith into something like the team identity of the British football hooligan. It's not been about actually creating uh, a larger, all-encompassing uh, spiritual reality. It's been much more like uh, saying, my team is stronger than your team, is better than your team, and if you support another team, I'll hit you. That's not Hinduism, but that's their version of Hindutva. What's your uh, take on the 2019, the coming elections? Sir? Now, I believe that we have a very good chance of uh, defeating the present government. I think that the uh, the um, uh, index of opposition unity will be an important factor. Uh, last time the BJP came to power with only 31% of the vote, but a majority of the seats because the opposition was divided. If the majority of that 69% come together, then the 31% will lose. It's common sense. So I think that we do need to keep the opposition united. And we have a strong message that is the BJP's record over the last few years has been so disappointing that they don't deserve a second chance. Anyway, all the best for your future and hope uh, and, and again congrats and all the best for the books too, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. Man.